explain the whole process, sir. Uh, so, uh, this is what it is. From the beginning to the, to, to, to the end. Okay. This is, this, this started as a dream, as you can see. So, this is what it came to. Um, what I did is that I thought of moving kilometers mm. from one place to another. So, lucky for me, I had a few ideas that I had to bounce off my head because um, I started using go-karts for kids so that they can learn how to drive when they're still young. So that escalated to me wanting to transport commuters from work on a daily basis. So hopefully when I pack now with Reabaya, we'll be able to uh, integrate together, take the commuters from home, from their respectful home to their houses. Um, so each, like as you can see, this is Serubele, meaning a butterfly. So what it does is that it absorb it absorbs the heat so that it can be able to move that solar, you know. So I have batteries here as backup so that they can be backed up when it drives. You have a smooth drive when there's no light. You are able to still drive for like nine hours, you know, without stopping. Hopefully I'll get Elon Musk to invest on this baby so that I can take it further. Maybe have one of his batteries, who knows. But yeah, um, everything that I've started here, that I've created here, it was simply to um, make sure that people get the leisure to actually travel, you know, uh, when, when they have a different traveling um, experience. Uh, because uh, I myself, I'm from the, the background of tourism and all that, you know, I've been doing tours for quite a long time. From when I was still young, so this is what inspired me to actually take it further and, and look at the, the, and, and, and try to make better uh, of our transport system. So this is where we're getting at. So hence the innovation. So I'm trying to integrate it with um, with um, with all this uh, touchy touchy digital world, you know. I'm trying to tap into the space of digital world so that people can be closer to information, you know, especially uh, those kids that are growing up in the rural areas, you know. I just want them to see the bigger picture of everything, you know, because this is going to be actually a business study, you know. It's going to be a business within a business, employing um, graduates, uh, people who are doing the courses that I'll be looking for, so that we can be able to take this baby forward, because all we need.
dream, you know, until it came true. You know, it was just an idea for me to have uh, a car that's going to be uh, fuel savvy, that's going to save the environment, you know, uh, that's going to be able to cater for the needs of the kids out there that are walking uh, long kilometers. So I've decided to put my um, metal together and uh, have a structure that is built on top of uh, what looks like a, a go-kart. Um, so I'm using just a small generator which I'm going to just um, uh, actually elevate it with another motor to actually make it run faster. Uh, at the same time, it's currently moving at 35 k's. So if you look at the back there, I have my, my three lithium batteries that I've connected uh, at the back of the car so that it can be able to store the energy whilst it's moving. So I would say that this is by far the cheapest car you can get in the world. You know, a mode of transport that can make it possible for you to get by and it can be used in any part of the world. That's the nicest thing about it. And again, it has endless dreams. This is a dream within a dream, you know, literally. That's what it is. Like this is, you need to have this baby so that you can be able to make your dreams come true. And stop that kiching ching that's going inside the pockets of those who are slaving to the petrol. Yeah. Alright. That's what it is. So uh Serubele, trademarked. It has been tested in the streets of Soweto. This baby, as you can see. So this is the name of the car, Serubele, Sehambangelanga meaning that uh, uh, we are moved by the sun. So can you just imagine having a baby like this for yourself? Huh? <laughs> this is a reality, you know? So we decided to go with a safari field and with what we have there as a, as a butterfly, as an icon, this is going to be our brand for uh, many years to come. So uh, I hope my kids keep it in the family. Yeah. So yeah, man, this is what it looks like. You know, it's massive. Uh, I mean, it is aggressive, you know? It's aggressive economically. And it's, it's, it's aggressive because you actually have ideas by just looking at it. And you will need it for the rest of your life, I promise you. This is one gadget you cannot afford not to have. It's a real solar car. It's a humbug. Yeah. Power on. Gear number three. At least sweep your wheels to the right. And then after that, you just button up and press your button as you accelerate. This is it, Baba. Yeah, check it out. It's about because it goes fast and it, it can carry almost I it can carry almost both children, but but it 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 makes children learn about everything. Yeah. This is a Ruben baby car. Yeah, yeah. This is Naos Bonella. This thing is beautiful and it's the future. Somebody might think, no, it's running on solar. In fact, this is the future as you have, we have problems with energy and all that. So looking forward, going forward, this is the kind of energy that will sustain the environment. So this car is the future. And as you said, uh, we'll be going to the rural areas where disadvantaged kids have to walk long distances to the school, you see. That's not something that makes us proud. So this baby will take it there. Older people, when they cut off the by the buses, they have to walk all the way from the bus station to to here, you see. That's like long distance. It takes them like 20 minutes. So this is the future of everyone. Even when you buy the particular square, you no know longer have to wait for a taxi two hours because of no one is taking the taxi. You can get your own private car and get home on time to cook for your family. Thank you.